Tonight we report on shots being fired in Quincy and how judges are getting raises. What's happening in sports, Bob? Afraid of girls soccer opens league play with a win and the Mariners drop a one-run game to the Astros. Here's a peek at our weather center forecast. Good to be with you everybody. Dry and cool scenario across the area and there is a warming trend in store. I'll bring you all the details in just a few moments. I'm Alan Troop and we have all this and much more on i one News. From the i one HD studio here in the heart of the Columbia Basin, this is i one News. Your number one source for local news, sports headlines, and our very own weather center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. This is i one News, and it starts now. Quincy police are investigating reports of gunfire taking place on Tuesday afternoon. Quincy police officers and Grant County Sheriff's Office deputies responded to the 300 block of East Street Northeast. Witnesses told police the people involved had fled the area before they arrived, according to a police spokesman. A spokesman stated, We were able to determine two males in blue jerseys confronted one male subject in a red shirt. During the confrontation, the male wearing the red shirt pulled a gun and shot. It does appear that this incident is gang-related. Police are looking for two males in blue jerseys. A 17-year-old male was arrested for aiming and discharging a firearm and reckless endangerment. The police ask anyone with information about the confrontation to contact Quincy Police Detective Jorge Trujillo at 509-787-2222 or 509-787-8477. The Moses Lake City Council made a decision about whether to allow marijuana processors to operate in the city. Reporter Cameron Probert has the story. Moses Lake is closer to allowing marijuana producers inside city limits. The city council passed the first reading of an ordinance that allows producers in light industrial zones. The decision follows a request by Moses Lake businessman Alan Haru to allow his brother to open up a marijuana producing business in the 1400 block of Wheeler Road. City staff rejected the proposal because it's considered an agricultural business, and city code doesn't allow new agriculture inside city limits. City attorney Catherine Kennison explained the new code changes the definition of marijuana producers to make it match state laws defining it as a manufacturer. The new code requires producers to be indoors. A second vote on the ordinance is scheduled for later this month. For iFiber One News, this is Cameron Probert reporting. Grant County judges are getting a pay raise. The increase is the second one in two years, approved by the Washington Citizens Commission on salaries for elected officials. The commission approved the 3% increase as part of its biannual review of state elected officials' salaries. The increase moves the three Superior Court judges to an annual salary of $156,000, and the District Court judges will make $148,000 each year. The increases are scheduled to start on September 1st. The commission made the decision after former president of the Superior Court Judges Association, Craig Matheson, expressed concerns about not having an incremental pay increase. He stated it's possible the state wouldn't be able to attract good people to fill the roles without the increase. Lucille Moore died from sharp wounds to the neck and chest, according to Grant County Coroner Craig Morrison. Moore, an 82-year-old Efreda resident, was found dead in her home on Sunset Street in Efreda Monday morning, an apparent victim of homicide. Efreda police, the Columbia Basin investigative team, and the state crime lab experts are continuing to investigate what they believe was an isolated and targeted act of violence. City Administrator Wes Craigle said, quote, the city of Efreda asks our community continue their support to Mrs. Moore's family during this time. Our officers have been meeting with the family and keeping them as up to date as much as possible during the investigation. Authorities continue to ask anyone with information about the murder to call the Afraid of Police at 509-754-2491 or MAC Dispatch at 509-762-1160. And now we take a look at people being sought by law enforcement. 
This is Sheriff Tom Jones with the Grand County Sheriff's Office. Each of the people you see here have a warrant for their arrest. If you see any of these people, we ask you to not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but call us at 509-762-1160 or send us an email at primetips.co.grant.wa.us. If the person is presenting a danger, call 911. With your help, we can bring these people to justice and make our community safer. We'll be back right after this.